roast leg of lamb, super tender and super easy to make, and I'm gonna show you how to make it. So to start off, you wanna take your leg of lamb out of the fridge, just to get it to room temperature. I'm gonna do that for around 30 to 60 minutes. This will just help it cook evenly in the oven. Now I wanna start off with a simple spice mix for this lamb, just to give it a bit of flavor. Start off by adding four teaspoons of garam masala into a bowl, along with two teaspoons of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of chili powder, two teaspoons of coriander powder, two teaspoons of cumin powder, and one teaspoon of dried oregano. And whisk it all together and set aside for later. Now the lamb's come to room temperature, you want to get a small knife and just poke some holes for it. You don't want these holes too big, but you don't want them too small as well. Then drizzle the lamb in some olive oil, give it a good rub, like you're rubbing your hands in antibacterial gel. Then sprinkle over the spice mix, rubbing it in very well, making sure the whole lamb is coated in it. Then season with salt and pepper on both sides, always making sure to rub all that seasoning into the meat. Then get some fresh rosemary, placing it into the holes that we made earlier. This will help the lamb become even more flavorful. Then roughly slice one red onion and one white onion, two carrots and two celery sticks. Then get a roasting dish and add in your vegetables. Drizzle over with some olive oil and season with salt and pepper, give it a good mix, then add the lamb. You can also pour some of that leftover spice mix onto the veg. Then add some thyme and some sage leaves as well. Why not add some extra rosemary as well, just sprinkle it on top of the vegetables. I also forgot to add some garlic cloves as well, for some reason, I'm not sure why. But anyway, you need three whole garlic cloves peeled and you can just put it into the veg, mix it all in there. Now you want to start off with putting this lamb in a 200 degree oven for 30 minutes just to get a little bit of colour on the meat. Then take it back out of the oven and you want to lower the temperature of the oven to 100 degrees Celsius. Then put the lamb back in to roast for three hours. After three hours, take the lamb back out from the oven. Then pour 75 ml of white wine, which is totally optional, and 500 ml of beef stock. Just make sure not to add too much stock, because you don't want to braise this, we still just want to steam it. Then cover the lamb with foil, and place back in the oven for another three hours, until the lamb is lovely and tender. After the three hours, take the lamb back out of the oven, remove the foil from the tray, then cover the lamb leg in foil and take out the tray and leave to rest for 30 minutes. This is really important because you want to allow the meat juices to reabsorb back into the lamb, making it lovely and tender and delicious. Now make sure whatever you do, do not throw away the vegetables. We can use this to make a stunning gravy. Pour all the vegetables and the meat juices into a saucepan and allow to simmer for 5-10 to 10 minutes, stirring occasionally. Then take it off the heat, pouring it into a sieve, which has a bowl underneath, or a saucepan. Then start to scrape the vegetables down until it turns into like a puree, trying to push as much of the veg as you can through the sieve. Also make sure to scrape all the veg hanging on the bottom of the sieve. Then throw away the veg that didn't make it through. Then place the strained gravy back on the heat to simmer. Now I added a cornflour slurry, which you don't really have to add because it made it a bit too thick. But it's just one teaspoon of cornflour and one teaspoon of water just mixed together. This will make the gravy thicker. But mine made it too thick, so you don't really have to add it. Just don't copy my mistake. Then give it a little taste for seasoning. Well, this actually tastes really good. So I don't really need to add any extra salt or pepper, but please do if you need it. Then bring back the rested leg of lamb. Place on a chopping board 
and slice some nice cuts of meat. Oh, look at that. This literally makes me so happy. Then sit back and relax and pour your meaty gravy over your tender pieces of lamb and enjoy. Well, that's it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next week.